In this series, we're looking at searching in Laravel with Laravel Scout and Mealy Search. We'll talk about them as we go through the course. So don't worry if you've not worked with either Laravel Scout or Mealy Search before. Uh, but basically, Mealy Search is a search engine. So we can use this to index documents and search requests across to it and, of course, receive results back. Laravel Scout helps us hook this up effortlessly into our Laravel apps. So we can just run a simple command that will go ahead and import any records for us. Now the records that we're working with here are just a list of randomly generated articles inside of our database. So I've already indexed these. Let's go ahead and just try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and search for the character A. Of course we get quite a few results for this, but merely search will do things like allow multiple keywords and of course will account for spelling mistakes and all that kind of stuff. So it's very, very powerful. Now, with these results, we're paginating them as well. Of course, you probably don't want to show all of the results uh, at once. So we're paginating these just by five records just to demo this out nicely. And once we've kind of got this search experience wrapped up, we're going to go ahead and implement some more advanced filters. So we're going to dive into creating some more custom searches with Mealy Search. Let's just drill this down a little bit further by grabbing a keyword here and searching on that. See, we get 36 results. Of course, that's less because this keyword uh, appears less often. And this is actually being looked at in the title and the teaser here as well. So we're not just searching on one single field. And of course, me, the search will handle all of that for you. Now, like I said, we're going to drill this down and look at some more advanced filters. So for example, each of these articles is owned by a particular user. We can go ahead and use this drop down to just filter this out by a specific author. Uh, and you can pretty much take what you learn from this series and turn it into any kind of search experience of your own. We're also going to touch on things like if an article hasn't been published yet, we don't want to push it to our list of search results. So with that done, this is very, very simple search, but it's going to set you up to be able to create more complex search experiences. Let's head over to the next part and uh, get everything set up.